the overall memory is uh, number one, uh, it lasting 25 years. <laughs> I mean, you know, like that, that I think that amazes me. Also, you know, I think back and my, my children were literally in grade school and now my children are having my grandchildren. The overall art and all the different things, transitions that we've made through the years um, and all the, the fond memories I've had, all the great people I've met at HSN and all the people that have been part of this, plus, Everybody who's been part of my overall adventure in life, every time I see a material, even to this day, it brings back memories of when we acquired that and all the crazy stuff that that happened. Oh my gosh, how much do I love that? And I love Jay King. And we've got two really fabulous hours. Guys, I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, beautiful, beautiful, hang out. Not telling you what it is, that's evil, I know, but you're gonna see something that even I've never seen before coming up within this window. We have two brand new mind finds beyond that little twinkle, twinkle, sparkle, sparkle, and of course we're celebrating Jay King. He's our favorite rock hound in the whole world. He will go up and over and in and through and under and down. He even had his pilot license, so he flies into the weirdest places in the world to bring us the most amazing gemstones, to give us stories, to give us jewelry that nobody else has that are so unique and so beautiful. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love our two hours together tonight with Jay. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at what's coming up. And remember, we have two mind finds, and this is one of the most exciting of the two. They're both really cool, but this one is gonna kick everything off tonight. Look at how gorgeous gorgeous this turquoise is. This is called the number seven yellow turquoise jewelry. It has never been on the air before until right now. So for those of you who love Jay, you love the really special pieces, you love those really exotic, exquisite, rare pieces, this is yours. We have this really cool necklace, I'm wearing it. We've got the earrings, we have the ring. Now, on purpose, because Jay loves to tell his stories, I talked to him before the show and I said, Jay, do not tell me a bit. He, he, he like chomps at the bit and he wants to tell me the story before we go on the air. So you and I are gonna hear the story for the first time together when we get to this. It's our showstopper and again, it is a brand new mind find and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so pumped about this, so it's coming up. But before we do that, I gotta get Jay here, right? He's gotta join me. And indeed, the man of our two hours is ready. Happy 25th anniversary, my dear, dear, dear friend. Although I noticed I was not in your little promo video, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe you didn't show up that day. <laughs> I just, no, that's all I can say. Well, happy anniversary. I thought maybe you were snubbing me or something, you know? That's what I was saying. No, they asked me to do it and I said, Jay, no, I'm not saying a word. I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I love you to death, and boy, oh boy, Jay, I gotta tell you, so ready? Jay, you can't say anything, it's gonna drive you crazy, but twinkle, twinkle, pretty, pretty, you got it, you must stick around to see this piece. Like, even for me, and we were talking beforehand, it grabbed my attention, and we'll talk about it later. But Jay, we gotta jump in, you ready? Let's start with this. Okay, here we go, guys, this is so much fun. This is absolutely brand new. It's a serpentine, we've got the ring, the earrings, the necklace, everything across the board's limited. First time you all are seeing it. Jay, tell us the story behind what you did with this. Okay, this is, this is a really unique serpentine. Um, it's, we're calling it green, but it's the weirdest color, right, <laughs> of material. It actually comes, uh, this is one of the, the very few materials I've ever found in Korea, of oh, all wow. places. But th this is, it, it's just a very unusual serpentine. Usually when you get serpentines, I mean, serpentines come in a variety of, of colors, but this is, I don't even know how to describe the color. I mean, what would you call it? It's like, it's almost like, almost like a lemon, lemon green. I mean, it's just yes. a really, really bright, bright natural. It's got the most, it's, it's almost, it's almost like it's sunshine, you know, almost like a sunshine yellow green. I don't, I don't know how to even, <laughs> how you even describe this color, but this, you know, it's to really, tell you the truth. I'll tell you how I describe is, it as a really cool color. I mean, it's really neat. Well, you know, it, it, it's, it's so clean and so, so, so crystalline clear yeah. that it almost looks phony. I mean, it almost looks like something that somebody's created, right? Right, right. But it's the real deal. It's really, it's it's a natural serpentine. We do get several different um, uh, serpentines out of Korea, 
But this comes out of South Korea, and it's just a really unique, unique material. It's, it's a triple strand, by the way. We do have the dangle earrings, which are great. I want to mention we've got the ring that's going to be in 5 through 12. The necklace, this is kind of different for Jay, is actually 20 inches, and you get 2 and 3 quarters extender on the back. So I'll show you what happens here. Normally when Jay does his pieces, they're usually 18 inches, okay? And then you get the <coughs> extender. But watch this. When I go to the very end of this one, guys, I mean, it goes super long. And the one thing that I want to point out, and this is what I thought when I saw this piece, is not only is it vibrant and really unique, is, Jay, I can't tell you, and all the fashion shows I've done over the last, I would say, two to three weeks, anything we've done in an olive color, we've done camo that is sold out from Diane Gilman, we did, I think, um, we had G by Juliana had some camo, it all had these shades of really cool green, so when I saw this, and any even any olive jeans we've done, or leggings, or anything in that olive camo world, it is sold out so quickly, I think, girls, this would be amazing if you wore it back to maybe those camo pieces that are so hot right now or any of the olive green that you bought over the last couple of weeks or months, this is gonna just rock with that. It will be as distinct as that cool olive green legging or jegging or jean that you bought. So Jay, I just wanted to add that because from a fashion sense, and I know you didn't create that with that in mind, but it's interesting how these kind of worlds are colliding together in this really special color. You know, it's funny you say that because um, uh, I, you know, I, we do have people that you know that actually that work you know that that are part of our team that are really into the colors and the fashion and everything like that with me i'm less sophisticated you know me very well suzanne you know i'm not sophisticated uh but it always seems like i don't know mother nature provides you know because anything yeah. that we do it actually fits in and um, and uh, that's always kind of been the case is we've had uh, colors that were right. that just showed up that year and all of a sudden that was the hot color. Yeah. So th that's yeah, crazy. I, this is really, I, I just think it's just a cool look. Uh, like I said, it's just a very different, unique material that's very, very bright. It's very vivid. Um, we, you know, we did have um, some other serpentines that were more of a, like a green color, you know, but this is, uh, uh, and here again, this is like almost like a, a lemon yellow, but then it's yes. got like, like, almost like this fluorescence, it, yes. like a like a fluorescence green to it, like a tinge. It's just a really unusual, unusual color. Well, here's what I would think too. If you took key lime, like a piece of key lime pie, and you were able to plug yeah. it in the wall, that would be this color. <laughs> Does that make sense? Would if you, you were to electrify a key lime pie, that to me, it's making me hungry, but it's actually, that would be the color. Like, cause it's got this real, almost a glow to it, Jay. Well, you know, uh, it's funny that you would say that cause you know, I used to live in Isla Morada and you know that, yeah. that well, as much, as much as I live anywhere. Okay, let's say <laughs> I had a place that had some clothes in Isla Morada, right? <laughs> right, right. I had that house for a long time. Um, and uh, I was right down from the original Isla Morada Key Lime Pie Factory. Now, you know, it's gone through, uh, you know, so many changes. I'm talking like mid-70s, right? Right. Um, mid, uh, late, mid-70s, late 70s uh, is when I was living in Isla Morada. And uh, uh, I guess even the first part of the, first part of the 80s, uh, I had a place there. And that is exactly like what a real key lime pie looks like. Right. You know, exactly right. real key lime pie, <laughs> just so everybody knows. That the key, you know, most people have never had real key lime pie. You're right. Um, in fact, I don't know. I don't even know if you can go to Key West and get real key lime pie yeah. anymore. I don't know. Yeah. Every now and then, a real key lime pie is maybe not even a a, a a quarter of an inch thick. It's really, really thin, and it's this color. It's that. And they usually like have a graham cracker crust or something like that. Right. And it is so tart. It's made. You know, it's made out of key limes. Key limes, right? And so. Tart, tart, but it is just this color, and it's like vivid, vivid, bright, like almost like if you went in and turned off the lights, it would like glow in the dark. Yes. You know, it would yes. <laughs> that glow in the dark. That I used to go down there. I, now you're making me hungry. You know what? I used to go, this is when I was thin and young. <laughs> I could eat anything. I used to go down and I would buy, they were real small little, little pies yeah. that they made, and I would get a dozen of them. I would buy a dozen at the what? time. By the time I got home, I only maybe had like two left. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat 10 on the walk home, you know? <laughs> no, no kidding. 
they were only about that big, and but they were real thin. It was almost like key lime cookies. Right. I mean, oh God, they're good. <laughs> oh, you know, now I want to go down. Clearly, I have brought back a very fond memory because now we've changed into the cooking <laughs> channel with Jay. And we went from a 25th anniversary to now cooking with Jay or eating with Jay. And I know, Jay, you've well, eaten a lot of crazy stuff memory. around the world. But guys, I got to tell you, this one's really limited now. If you want the necklace, we're down to the final 300. Then it's going to be sold out. I'm just going to pop it off the bust here really quickly. And let me pop in some cool colors because look at this. Look at that as we go into the fall. I like a rust color for the fall. Super unusual, right? Really fresh and unique. Here I've just, look at that, against a really just light, easy blue. I'm just grabbing colors. Look against an orange, that's gonna work. That if I had some other like color, let me show you this. And I love it too, because Nadia's joining me. And look at it against denim, like that's an indigo. Look, how much fun will that be if you've got a great denim shirt or a great denim jacket and you pop this on with it and you see it on Nadia too, it just really pops, it sings, it's bright and we love it. And this is why Jay's been here for 25 years and counting. It's because you can always watch and expect the unexpected girls. It's, this is great jewelry to wear at phenomenal pricing. And by the way, this is really long. So if it ends up being a turtleneck in the middle of winter and you rock this thing, it goes down to a total length of 22, almost 23 inches in its full length. And Nadia, are you wearing it full length? You wearing it all the way down? Yeah, you are? Okay, yeah, she's wearing it for the full length. Yeah, so that really shows you, you've got a lot of neckline to work with there. All right, stay on the line, girls. Don't forget, we have the earrings and the ring. The earrings are one and four, a quarter, and the ring is five through 12 in terms of sizes. Are we moving on to my next item? Okay, here we go, guys. All right, so there's our serpentine, and we'll wrap up on that. And again, that's brand new, and it is now pretty darn limited. All right, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So, I adore Jay. I mean, we tease the heck out of each other. We really do. Uh, and, but I adore him so much. I, I can't go on too much because then, you know, I'm being too nice to him. But he, as you guys, if you ever watch, we're just crazy, right? And, and we really do adore each other. And I love his wife. They're just a wonderful group. Anyway, every time I go to talk to Jay, though, before the show, he's like, have you ever seen, okay, you gotta come back to me. Have you ever been in a classroom and I'm always the back of the room sitter, but you got that one kid who keeps going, ah, I got the answer. Ah, ah, I can, I get in the raising their hand. They want to be picked so bad, right? Okay, when Jay has a really special story to tell, he wants to tell me before we go on the air. So Jay, what was the first thing I said to you when I called you before we went on about this item? I love the turquoise, but don't, do not tell me the story. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> so I, did, I started to tell you the story, and you said, no, nope. do not tell me the story. Nope, we're going to do it both live on the air. All right, Jay, so now <laughs> you get to tell the story. Guys, this is brand new. It's a brand new mind find in turquoise, Jay. I literally thought you had found almost all the turquoise that currently is available in the world, but you surprised us with this, and I got to tell you guys, already several hundred have been ordered from the preview. We've got this amazing necklace we do have the matching ring 5 through 12 and we have the matching fabulous dangle earrings so jay what is number seven yellow turquoise all about you know um and, and here again you know the 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 things i specialize the two things that i specialize in is number one turquoise i mean turquoise that's that's what i do right i mean that that is my first love that that's what we're known for and we're known for having the widest variety of of different turquoises and i i, I don't know anybody i know people that have collections like i do my personal collection where you know you've got specimens of of more turquoises than anybody but i don't know of anybody that actually has more types of turquoise than we do right now i'm not aware of anybody and it's always a challenge to find brand new materials in anything that I do, you know, hence mine finds. So when I find a brand new turquoise, it just really, it's like, it's like somebody just gave me the best Christmas present I could ever have, mm -hmm. you know? This is a very unique turquoise. This is all the natural color. I haven't done anything to it. I brought some of the rough just to kind of show you this. There's, when you, when you cut this material, there's not gonna be any two of these guys that are totally uh, identical. Everyone's gonna be uniquely different in its own right. This is a brand new turquoise. It's a brand new deposit. They're, um, of all the things, they found this, um, it's, it's in a nickel mine of all places uh, that they're finding. And when I ask them, 
Okay, so they brought this to me. We didn't even, we had to test it to make sure it was turquoise. I really wasn't sure at first. You know, if it, I thought it was turquoise, but I, I wanted to test it. We tested it, it tested as turquoise. And so I said, okay, what do you call it? What's the name? So this came out of shaft seven in the yellow, in the yellow zone. <laughs> so it's number seven yellow <laughs> turquoise. So, no, You're like, hmm, let, you. me, let me ponder this. Uh. Okay, this is actually the material right here. That's you so can cool. see, and here's, it's got, you see, it's got all the, and this is all, that's actually turquoise. It's just not, you know, where it didn't cook as much, you know, we didn't have different things, but you see, and it even has, I mean, it has the most, most weird, you get, it's even got blues. And you'll get necklaces like I, uh, you know, that are going to have more blues or green. It's just a really unique. It's very soft, almost like a pastel uh, colors yes. in it. They're very, very soft colors on it. But this is the natural rough. I mean, that, that's all. All I've done to this is when these came out, I just took and I just sat there and I buffed them, uh, buffed them and, and rounded them off. That's yeah. all I did to it. Yeah. I didn't change the colors or anything like that. But this is a brand new, if, you're, if you collect all the different turquoises, but this is something that I just okay. thought that it's so unique, so different. Um, I kind of did, you know, when I actually designed this, you know, um, you know I, I like to tell on myself, right? Because <laughs> if you can't make fun of yourself, right. then who can you make fun of, right? Exactly, right. And see the thing, if you saw how I drew, I drew this for the lapidaris, I drew it, I was gonna do like these real contemporary crosses you know, like, you know, can you imagine? I was going to do like, I was going to do these real contemporary cross uh, uh, and then graduate them. And if you looked at my drawing, but uh, when I gave it to the lapters, when I gave it to the cutter, when he did this, uh, it looks lovely on Nadia. Look, at, look how big oh, and bold this is. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It, um, when, it, when I gave it, uh, gave it to him to cut, he, he rounded it all off. He just thought my <laughs> design really? was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm going to make it okay. a little semi-executive order, and I'm rounding off his design. <laughs> well, you know, like I gave it to him, I drew it all out. I did it, and I did it to scale. I wanted it big. I wanted it bold. I wanted to make a statement. Right. And then when I gave it to him, you know, like I had, if you could, I should have brought my drawing, okay? Because I thought my drawing really looked cool. Right. But then when he, uh, when he, when he started cutting it. He, he just thought, no, nah. so he just <laughs> rounded it all off on that. But to tell you the truth, after he did this, I thought, you know, that looks kind of cool. I love so it. So I went ahead and kept it. Yeah. I think it's really it's cool. Just, I think it looks like look. a medallion or a big clover. And it's very different because I don't think you've ever done a shape like this before. And guys, I want I, you to I've stop really quickly on this uh, brown suede. Notice what happened as I changed the colors out from the light blue. It captures all this more bluey color. But look when I got to this brown suede, when you think all the fun fall colors we love, look how it starts to pick up on more of the yellows, almost a caramel color. You know, instead of calling it quite yellow, I would call it more of a caramel. I mean, obviously I'm not there to title it, but it's this yummy caramel that sort of oozes in the veins as opposed to being really sharp, dark veins. I think this is one of the most unique turquoise jays has ever brought us. I think if you're ordering it right now, it's a really cool collectible. And please remember, the price is excellent on this. This is really amazing. Our original price was $139.99. Now this is brand new, first time, brand new mind find. It's never been on the air before. You're getting this at $119.98. And it's not just a dumb, dumb row of beads. I mean, this is a really, beautiful gallery style piece, but you're not spending three and $400 like you would if you were in Santa Fe or Taos, New Mexico. So this is a great opportunity. You are the very first ones to see it. And if you are a fan and you've been following Jay for many, many years, then I know you're excited about this and you should be. It's unique, it's different. I think it's as wearable right now with summer colors as it is as we go into the deep of winter and you want a pop of color when you're wearing it. I'm wearing a Marla Wintop for my own collection. And I wanted you to see, look at that blue on this one. They're all really unique and different, but look at how amazing that is, even against cream, and then take it to that great turtleneck or that beautiful sweater you have that maybe is a camel color or it's a brown or it's an espresso. Obviously, it converts back to your blue jeans and your chambrays beautifully, but here's just a really special opportunity. And Jay, I will say, what really surprised me about this being a new mind find is how much of the rough you had to use to make these bold clover shapes. 
Well, you know, and you're doing this, and that's what's really cool about it is they're not, number one, uh, this is a, a nickel mine, okay? They're mining nickel, that, that, you know, which is really unusual. Usually it's either copper or iron or aluminum, you know, is, is really kind of what they're mining, and that's where you find turquoise, if you're gonna have like a big, um, a big mine like this. And this is, um, they, you know, it's, it's not open pit, it's actually shafts. So I'm real excited about this because we got, uh, we have an exclusive on this right now. I have an exclusive as far as nobody knows about it, right? Nobody even has a clue ab about this mine or this turquoise. And I have to tell you, this is the first kind of, uh, the, they're just now starting to get into this. Uh, I have not been back for obvious reasons. <laughs> so, um, and I, it's really not a lot of communication going on right now in a lot of these places. It's really almost impossible to communicate. Uh, you really uh, almost have to go. And so I'm, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this develops down the road. And, and, but uh, I'm really excited about it. And it's got a very unique look yeah. um, for turquoise. Very I mean, it's, it's almost like a, it's almost like a pastel -y well, color turquoise. You know what, I don't know how Jay, to You know what it reminds me of? Um, a mosaic almost. Like yeah, it, it's almost like mosaic. You know, yeah, that's right. I mean, but it just, it's just like the colors of it it's just so different. It's like, so, it's so different than any turquoise I've ever, ever had. Yeah. But I just, it's I just so love cool. it. And then here again, when it came up to figuring out the name, right? And, <laughs> and then, so this, this is coming from miners, obviously, right? And if you've ever been around mines, I mean, I'm talking real mines, especially shaft mines. Okay. So this was, this was shaft number seven, right? Yeah. So it's shaft number seven and it's in the yellow zone because they'll have, the yellow zone, the green zone, red zone, blue, that, you know, like, and when you see the, the map, right, they'll have a map of, of the shafts and the mining and where they're doing things, right? Right. And it, on there, it's all color coded. So can you, so Funny. like, you'll have the schematic of the mine and it'll all be color. And this came out of the yellow, out of, I, the, out of, the, out of the yellow section. It's so in awesome. Shaft I love it. Okay, yeah, guys, and important. something else I want to point out, Jay, because if we go, if we can, Mark, go really, really close on just maybe the centerpiece, wherever you want to. Guys, this is not compressed. That's the thing. If you're really into jewelry no, no. and you're at home, you, many people would think, oh, that's probably a compressed piece because, like, it looks like it's been flattened or mosaic, right? Jay, this is actually how the turquoise is coming out of the ground, correct? Right. You're looking at cutting pieces, um, you know, just to cut one of these necklaces. You, you, start with to make this sweet to make this ensemble but just to make that necklace yeah you start with about four pounds four pounds of of the material wow. right wow <laughs> I, now does that necklace weigh four pounds no but you have to understand and also you have to think you lose 70 percent 70 percent of your material on the first cut just cutting it the first time you lose 70 percent of your material so of that, of that four pounds, I, I lost probably about a two and a half, uh, two and a half pounds just on the first initial cut. It, you lose 70% on your first cut. And then when you start shaping it, people don't realize every time you touch something, any time you touch something with the saw, any time you, you uh, polish something, any time you buff something, what you're doing is you're taking that material away and you're grinding it down and it's disappearing. It turns into dust. And I've even had people tell me, well, can't you collect the dust and compress the dust? Well, I got to tell you, you come up with a way to do that that looks like, that, that looks like turquoise, right? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> then let me know and we'll sit down and talk dollars, okay? <laughs> but no, every, all, all like, the no. dust that I have in my lapidary shop goes in a dust pan, which goes in a dust bin, which goes in a big dust bin, which goes to the dump. So, you know, like, it's, it's like, you know, do you, it, that's another funny story is like, when I first started out, um, you know, I, of course, when you first start out, you don't know anything, right? right? I've been doing it for 40, what, 44 years now, and I still learn stuff every day. So I, I have you, your constants, it's a constant learning process. But you know, I never, when I first started out, if, if I, let's say that I used, let's just say I used $10 worth of turquoise. I just throw in a number out there, right? right. Well, I would just, okay, that, that's, you know, it cost me $10.
No, duh. No, it did not. That, that, that $10 really was about $40 or $50 because, you, you know, when you final weight it, right, you might, you might, right. you weigh it. So you think, oh, that, that's $10. Well, no, you lost, you lost 80% by the time you were done, 90% of the material. So it didn't cost you $10, right? Right. And so it took me a long time. A lot of people, when I first started out, got some unbelievable deals. <laughs> so, and I couldn't figure out, I, you know, I was losing money, but I figured, well, I'll just sell more. I'll make right. it up in volume. Right. You know, I really, you know, I, I just, I just had a very, <laughs> uh, very immature, uh, uh, you know, kind of business sense when I first started out. Right. So, you know, there's a lot that goes into this, but um, it's so cool, Suzanne, that, you know, uh, I, you know, I, you just pick up on the fact of the fact of how much it really takes. And this yes. is, these are, think about the size of the pieces of turquoise yes. right. that you would have to have to cut this. Well, Jade, let me do two yeah. things. I want to show these guys this. Just again, to bring home 119.98, and I've been very blessed to work with Jay now 15 years out of the 25. If this were a bracelet, just this one piece, look at how big that cuff would be. Just this piece. Don't count all the rest yeah. of it. They, that's a huge piece of turquoise. Imagine if this was just a pendant it by is, itself. Is oh, no, look at the thickness. Look how thick this is. Thick this is. And, and again, okay, this is one solid one piece. Solid. Look at now that. Yeah, that's one solid piece. Look how thick that is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. It's not like a thin little wafer. These are big, chunky. And then look at all the beads that match back to it. And then, of course, we ended silver. Now, here's the story. If you want the necklace, we're down to the final 400, and then they will be gone. We have already sold, I think, five, 600. So this is very limited. In the ring and the earrings. Now, this is key, especially on the earrings. You'll be very hard pressed because when Jay does these pieces, we, he has no idea and we certainly don't know when he's gonna do them again and if he ever will do them again. It's a very unique brand new mine find, right? And even now more than ever, it's tough to get product simply because of the situation globally we're under. If you wanna get the earrings to match, get them now. If you can swing it with our FlexPay, I have about 200 pairs left. They're beautiful sterling silver. They look great anyway as a standalone piece, but the chances of you finding a match to this highly unique collectible turquoise is going to be virtually impossible unless you order them right now while you're getting the necklace so if you do like that matching look which is great just don't miss out because some people get it and then not get the earrings and come back online and go oh shoot i really want the earrings this is so pretty when you get it at home and they just simply won't be available the rings 5 through 12 although i think the ring's pretty limited too right Oh wow, we have about 200 rings left. I love the sterling silver. It's a nice wide band, very, very comfortable. Lots of beautiful new turquoise. So again, what a neat suite. And you guys are the first to get it and to see it. And when it's sold out, no idea when Jay's gonna be able to pull this off again because you indeed are seeing it for the very, very first time. And that's exciting because with turquoise, you think you found most of it around the world and certainly you'll find the most with Jay, but it's really fun when he actually can bring us something that's 100% brand new again. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you this necklace. Oh my gosh. Okay, you ready? Now, I'm because you have to see it in person. Because when you see the price of $63, and this is what Jay refers to as, what do you call it, Jay, stupid? Stupid, yeah, silly? Stupid, crazy price. Crazy and price. This is, just, I mean, <laughs> this is one of those. Don't even think yeah, this is like stupid. I mean, you know, like <laughs> you can't, you can't even buy the materials. Look at that. You know, and this you have aqua. Yeah. You have what? I, I can't see all the different things. I didn't know that we were going to do this. So you've got aqua. What else do you have in there? The, yeah, no, Jay, you uh, know what? I'm just yeah. giving it a peek real quick, only because oh, okay. it's coming up. But you guys, look at this. Originally, it was appraised at 175. The HSN price is 139. Again, look at the size of these beads. If I, this was a ring, just this bottom bead, look how giant that stone would be. We're at $63. I double dog dare you to find anything close to the value of the price. And these are genuine gemstones. All of this is genuine gemstone. And they're exotic gemstones. They're very unusual gemstones. We'll get to it, but guys, I'm giving you a peek. It's not coming up until next hour. But if you want something that is a superior savings, like you love color and you're like, I am all in, and you are a big J. King fan, this is going to be one of your very best buys that you'll see both hours because it's just a huge value. So yes, it's coming up. Also too, I have something that's so exotic and so cool and so unbelievably precious. I'm just going to call it Sparkle Sparkle's Pretty Pretty. <laughs> 
We'll get to it, I promise. I'm so excited about this show. All right, so now we've got another very unusual stone. And for many of you, maybe you never seen it before. You certainly couldn't go to the mall. You certainly couldn't go to even a really, really beautiful jewelry store and say, can I see strawberry quartz? Most of the people behind the counter wouldn't even know what you were talking about. But Jay has it. So here we go, guys. This is on sale. Now, you got to stick with me, too because we have great sale prices. You just saw the multicolor coming up. This is on sale, and it's not just a $5, $10 sale that kind of makes you mad. This one was originally $109, where it's $69.98 right now. And again, very large stones. These aren't just little seed beads. I think it's so, I think when you're at home, it's a little hard sometimes to get perspective on that. But if that were a ring, look how big that one stone would be. That'd be several carats. Now you multiply that across the entire necklace. It does have your extender on the back and sterling silver. That's two and three quarters of an inch. So you can go much longer with, this, with these if you'd like to, or you need to, according to what outfit you're wearing. All right. I have the matching earrings too. They're on sale as well. Here we go. Jay, strawberry quartz. Where do you find something crazy like strawberry quartz? You know, um, strawberry quartz is, is uh, in the colored quartz family. And colored quartz is, you know, a, a lot of them are very rare and, and are also more expensive. You know, just so everybody knows, amethyst is a colored quartz, citrine, peridot, those all are colored quartz, quartzes, rose quartz. They're all colored quartzes, right? Um, strawberry quartz, believe it or not, is one of the more rare. Uh, very hard to find. A lot of people think they have strawberry quartz. A lot of this was sold for a lot of times because it is so popular and it is so rare that there, um, a lot of people marketed it for years and years and years. And what it actually was, was strawberry glass. <laughs> so no now you can tell friends that how you can tell the difference. I'm gonna give everybody, just so you can, if you think you have strawberry quartz, I'll tell you the exact, the easy way to tell if you, what you have is the real deal. When you look at this, and if you look at those, Suzanne, if you look at those beads, yeah. do you see how the clip, do you see the, what gives it the strawberry color? There's red rutilations. There's red oh, crystals. Right. Side that. Do you see oh, the red crystals? Yes, of course. Do you see the crystals? Cool. Those are little, yeah, so it's, it's actually a rutilated quartz. It's, so they call it strawberry quartz, but it's actually a rutilated quartz. It's a clear quartz that's got red rutil, ru, rutiles that run inside of it. The little, uh, the little uh, red crystals yeah, growing all the way right through there. it. Yeah. If you, if you take, if you can see it with the naked eye on these. But if, you, if you've got something that you think is strawberry quartz or that was sold to you as strawberry quartz, if you can't see the rutilations like that, then all you do is just take a loop or take a magnifying glass. And if you look at it, and if you see bubbles, if there's bubbles, if they're not crystals, if they're not like, if they're not little rutilations uh, growing like long crystals, right. and there's bubbles, what you have is glass. It's that, oh, that's how crazy. you can tell. How funny is that? That's how you can tell the difference. I had people in Tucson though, that um, were selling this year, that were, that were selling strawberry quartz that I went up and I looked at it, and it, man, it, this stuff looked like to die for, beautiful. And then I got to looking at it, and then I got my loop out, and I realized it was full of bubbles. <gasps> and so oh, no. actually, and, and they had bought it from somebody. I don't think that they bought it, and they were reselling it, and they, they were just told it was strawberry quartz, and it wasn't. So that can even happen at a professional trade show like Tucson. Wow. I mean, and this, they actually, it was a professional, I mean, it was a wholesale vendor you know, selling it that didn't, that had bought it from somebody that didn't know the difference. Aww. So this is just a, a fantastic color. I will tell you, this is one of the more rare quartzes. Th this particular color is one of the quartzes that is, is very, very rare. You don't often see it. You don't see it in this quality. Uh, I've gotten it from Africa. Uh, I've gotten it. This comes out of, out of Brazil, but I've also, um, I've also bought this in Peru before. I've actually uh, seen this material in Peru. I've seen it in Uruguay. This came out of Brazil, but I've also uh, bought it in, um, in Southern Africa in, uh, in, I, in one time uh, uh, just outside of um, uh, Springbuck in that area when, when we went to uh, buy ag at one time, I saw this material too. You don't see it all the time and it's like smoky quartz. It's very, very expensive. It's rare, and it's, it's in most cases, this, this rough material here cost me more than some of my amethyst material. No and kidding. Which, you know, wow, that's interesting. Amethyst, 
Yeah, I actually uh, paid more for this material than I paid for a lot of my amethyst. Well, and guys, I just want to give you a quick update. If you look at the appraised value, it's $150. So we're basically uh, more than half off the appraised value. That's why we're down to maybe 400 left. Um, uh, Jared, how many do I have left in the earrings? Okay, I have a 200 left in the earrings. I have less than 400 in the necklace. They're both on sale. It's the lowest price we've ever offered. And you know what I love, girls? It's I think this is very feminine. I think it's very pretty. You know, I love Jay when he does his big and his bold. These aren't little seed beads, as I mentioned. They're not little teeny beads you can barely see. They're very generous carrot weight on here. But what's nice about it is it's just this really pretty, soft, feminine statement. And I think we love that in our wardrobe, right? I mean, you can certainly see this if you're wearing it with a white blouse right now or lighter colors. But then as we go into the fall, and you really think about wearing more of the chocolate tones, pink and chocolate looks amazing together. It looks beautiful. So I think you're gonna find, and even denim with this, would look fantastic if you're wearing it like as we go into the, where we start layering on some clothing. The thing you're not gonna get after today is the price. And here's something special for all of Jay's jewelry. This ends tomorrow. Everything has four flex pay. So with this one on the flex, the necklace you can get home for $17.50. You have four months to pay it off. Use a major credit card, PayPal. You get it right away. This will be sold out though. And it's one of those super bargains. Like I think between Jay's team and our team here at HSN, they have absolutely knocked it out of the park for his 25th anniversary. And these are some of the really great examples of that. The earrings, by the way, on the size of these, these are really nice size button earrings. The They're size. nine sixteenths yep. of an yep. inch. Again, if that was a ring on my, on my, you know, finger, Look how big that, that cabochon would be. Like, it's huge, right? So again, these aren't teeny little nothing earrings. They're really quite substantial. Jay, we gotta wrap up on this one, buddy, because we have so much more coming up. All right, let's tease them, Jared. What's coming up? Jared? Okay, what I just promoted is what he told me. So stick around to find out what that was. <laughs> Timeless style remarkable quality and effortless functionality versatile everyday bags crafted by hand using trusted old world techniques and luxe materials fashion accessories designed to last a lifetime Dooney and Burke on HSN Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. At HSN and QVC, we stand with Black-owned businesses. And in partnership with the NRF Foundation, we are shining a light on Black-owned small businesses with our Small Business Spotlight. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation and discover exciting products you'll love to shop. To learn more about these Black-owned businesses, visit hsn.com and qvc.com. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. I wake up every morning and I'm excited about what the today's gonna bring. And I think there's not a lot of people that can say that. So I've been very fortunate to have all of my stars align and be able to do what I truly love to do and actually make that part of my life. I'm truly honored to work with him. He's, he's a precious guy. He's funny, he's interesting, his wife's delightful. Um, I'm sure she's happy he's come over to our side of the uh, coast <laughs> because he's usually gone most of the time. How's, how's you know, Sheila so doing? Funny. Let's yeah. do a Sheila check-in you know, right now. 
And you know, she, you know Sheila, right? I yeah. mean, and Sheila, my my wife is very British. Okay, very very British, and um, <laughs> you know, like uh, our our whole relationship. We you know we've been together. She's her whole thing with me is that you know, God, you're gone all the time. She'll tell me, why do we even have homes? Why do we even have houses? You know, you're never here. You live out of a suitcase. And I said, well, honey. When we were dating, did I travel? She goes, yes. I said, when we got married, did I travel? She, uh, was I traveling? Yes. I said, what did you think was going to change, love? What did, what did you think was going was to change? And so now, of course, um, you know, I've been home since. I've never been in my life, in my adult life, anywhere for more than two weeks ever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never. <laughs> and so I've been home since March. Oh, since, my. Uh, since March. And, and Sheila told me the other day, she goes, you know, I love you, dear, but I, I really am glad you're going to St. Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, what about the good old days when you were kind of gone most of the time? Oh, anyway. You know, I, I, when I leave now, it's like giving her a Christmas present. You like her? I just gave her the best birthday gift. You know, and I'll talk to her on the phone, and she's like happy and stuff. And I said, I wish you would sound a little bit more depressed, dear. You know, be a little bit more depressed. Could you be a little more sad that I'm not home, please? All right, Jay. So we got to we got to roll on because we have so much more coming up. We got about 20 minutes to go, Jay, and we got to fit a ton of cool stuff in. Here we go. Okay. Another dramatic sale price. Here we go. So normally appraised at 260, we're at 154. Immediately, Jay, when I saw this aquamarine and uh, we have lapis together, I said, oh my gosh, if anybody like me loves wearing indigo, chambrays, their blue jeans, any browns, you almost, I almost insist you own this necklace <laughs> because this is a denim girl's dream. You know, this, I, I have to tell you this and you have, okay, um, I have not made this combination very many times, and I don't know why, um, but um, I just was playing around one day and I thought, you know what, these go together. Uh, unfortunately, when you have these materials, when you look at, like this aqua, um, uh, this was the, the one and only very first aqua that I've ever obtained in 44 years where I wasn't using like small chips or something like that. This material, is very expensive. The rough material is very expensive. Usually cost prohibitive, you can't do it. I, you know, I found that aquamarine mine. Um, unfortunately, what has happened is um, I have no more of this material. And, and even if I, once I even get back in the game, because everything got disrupted, um, I don't even know where I'm gonna be at on this. It might take me a year to get more aquamarine rough in if, if they're, they mined it and they're working it. Everybody knows the deal on lapis. Guys, lapis, okay, here's the deal. Mark my words. I'm writing, right now, I'm writing February, April, and May. This is the aquamarine rough. You can see, that's the natural rough, guys. That's where that comes from. And then, again, here's the, the lapis. So you, look at those two color combinations. They just go together so beautifully. Oh, um, you know, the same thing with the lapis. Uh, I'm using... I'm using materials that have been in my warehouse for at least 15 years, everything that I had hoarded and stockpiled and put back. I, I can only, I, I'm only gonna be able to do, you know, next year you're gonna hardly see any lapis necklaces, beaded necklaces. If you do, you're not gonna see big, big uh, pieces of lapis. Um, we're, the, within a year, next year, I, I will, if everything continues to go the way it's going right now, I literally will not even have lapis in my line anymore. Gee, are you serious? It, it's just it's that bad. Dang. I mean, it's just crazy. So this, um, this is a great color combination. Um, I will tell you, both of these materials are going to be really limited. Like I said, with the aqua, everything right now is up in the air. I mean, you, I just don't know. I have no communication. You know, most of these mines and things, the deals that I have, um, you know, the, the reason I have the materials and other people don't have the materials is you have to go there. Do you know what I mean? Right. You have to right. be present to buy it. Right. The, they don't they don't have the internet. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, Especially lapis. There is no uh, in most cases uh, you can make they, they don't have cell phones. There's no way to really contact them. You know, you you do it through I you know, I contact somebody in the area and then we put the deal together, but you really have to go and you have to sit there and you have to do the deal right. and you have in to person. buy or I have to 
to have one of my associates go and sit down with them and buy. But right now, you know, we can't even travel to a lot of these areas to, to do what we need to do. Sure, so sure. it's gonna be yeah. really interesting on a lot of these materials. And I just wanna point out too, if you love your lapis, maybe you already have lapis, a solid lapis necklace from Jay at home. What a great layering look, but look how much fun this is. We actually have this on sale and I love it. It's black spinel, so it looks like almost sparkling black diamonds. It's really shiny with lapis together. And if we go wide, Mark, or Mark I'm gonna kinda go like this. It's it's 60 inches. I think this is the one that's taller than Linny, who's another host here at HSN. It's 60 inches of really fun lapis and black spinel. It's so cool. So if you are a lapis fan, this is on sale. We're under $100. I've got another choice available, but if you wanna do the lapis look and really get kind of that fun layering, put it all on, I just wanna make sure I pointed this out. Yeah, we do have an orange chalcedony and spinel combo, which is really neat too. And again, these are just some really special items that are on sale, 60 inch of gemstones and really a lot of sparkle. But again, I just wanted to point out, I have only two lapis pieces pieces this one and this one in our two hours tonight that just shows you how really kind of um exclusive lapis is becoming as jay mentioned okay we're gonna wrap up on that guys here we go dun, 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 and i put this one on because well i'm gonna wear it while i can because <laughs> i just don't think it's gonna last very long here we go jay all right if you love color 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 and you want very very unique gemstones this is your piece by far in the show this is the multi gemstone necklace you are looking at Beautiful aquamarine, rose quartz, pink morganite, pink and purple sapphire. Yep, genuine sapphire. All 18 inches with your extender and sterling silver on the back. All very large stones. I just want to point this out before it's gone. If I just were wearing that first stone right there, the aquamarine, that big guy on my finger by itself, that would be multiple carats. I mean, we're talking about much bigger than like a diamond carat ring, right? So multiple carats in just the aquamarine. Now add that along and then gradually go back to the smaller beads. This is one of those moments that if you're watching and you want something that's versatile, easy to wear, bold, beautiful, and you don't want to spend a fortune to do all that, and you want genuine gemstones, and you want unique gemstones, this is the moment. You don't want to wait any longer. This is $139.98. It was appraised at $175. Tonight, while they last, it's $63.98. So, Jay, I know you've got a lot of stories behind this one, but boy, oh boy, I love a good sale. <laughs> You're looking at, do you realize the travel that's involved in this? Yeah. You got, you got uh, four, okay, so you got two continents and uh, four countries that, that we had to go to to obtain the material. And also, if you look at this material, uh, this is actually a picture uh, on, on the way up to the, you can see the trail on the way up to the aquamarine deposit. Oh, wow. Where the, that's actually, what you're looking there is uh, the aquamarine, they'll show, they've got another picture here, they'll show you. Uh, oh, okay, wow. that's the aquamarine mine. So you can see up there, they walk that path. It's I, it's a, it's over 20 miles. I think it's 20 or 25 miles that they walk back up into that aqua uh, deposit, and then that's the trail in the winter that that they you know that they've shoveled out to go up to that aquamarine mine. That's all done, and that's you can see the big aqua pieces. What makes this so special? Number one, don't even think that you could even make this and sell it for this price, okay? It, just the material, just this, okay, I will tell you this right now. I'm pricing things now for next year, for February, uh, April, and May, and the buyer the other day, I'm driving her nuts because we're having to call and change the prices every other day because of the silver, right? So the silver's gone crazy. Just the sterling silver, our, our, traditional enhancer finding that you have on this yeah, here. if i told you what that cost right now you would go what i mean you couldn't even you couldn't even buy the materials that you have in this and these are all natural materials all natural sapphires uh the natural aquamarine there's no treatment to that the morganite and the rose quartz everything all of that's natural there's no treatment to it at all isn't that wild and look at the size that's of these these are not Dinky, dinky beads and the right. quality of the material is through the roof. Yes, I, I, I always say it's not the little seed beads. Guys, you really have to appreciate this is hundreds and hundreds of carats of genuine gemstones. And you did unique gemstones, Jay. You know, it's not just your typical ho-hum color combination. I think this color combination makes it 
crazy wildly versatile. I mean, if there's something in your wardrobe and you don't have a necklace to match with it, you're going to grab this and wear it. I mean, think of all the colors you can wear. Uh, again, we talked earlier about how popular the olives are this fall and camo colors. My gosh, anything we've done in camo green or olive has just sold like crazy. Yeah, you'll wear this. Then you turn around, you wear something like a chambray jean. Oh, you'll wear this. You turn around and you wear something you want to go back to a purpley amethyst. You know, boom, you've got it. You have so many colors to work with, and this means it gives you tons of wearability. And I'm all about this. Give me a rockin' good sale price and let me wear the heck out of a piece of jewelry, and I really appreciate the long-term value of it. And I think you're the same way. But grab this one while it's available. I know we were gonna be really busy for it. Here's your opportunity to get in on a tremendous sale price, and it is the very first time we've ever had it at this price. You right now are saving $76. And my gosh, girls, think about it. It. If you went into a store at the mall and bought just a fashion, it's glass, maybe it's plastic piece of jewelry in a nice store that had dresses and outfits, you know you'd spend more than $63 for nothing but plastic or glass and no silver. Here you're getting all of that. It's just one of those really tremendous opportunities really to be able to get in on a fabulous piece that you're going to just wear and wear and wear. Jay, I know too, just the quality. I love your fastening you did. You took the stones and you dressed them up a little bit because of the fastening. Well, you know, if you look at this though, and you look at the quality of the gemstones that are in this, this isn't like junk that we've done. Okay. Uh, even, do you realize how hard I worked just to come in at the original price? <laughs> you know, it's not like, you know, uh, I really work hard. I mean, I wear out a lot of pencils trying to figure <laughs> out how I can do this. And you can't, you know, even with us, I don't want people to give give you the idea that there's this huge markup or something that we're making in this. Is, that's not the way we work. Um, you know, we go right to the mines. We negotiate the best price. You know, there are no middlemen, even on the, the, when we buy the raw materials, we work direct. And then we do all of the designing in-house. We don't buy designs from anybody. We do all the designing in-house. We do all the lapidary work in-house. Everything is cut from the rough. We do all the silver work in-house. So, and then, not only that, then it comes and we sell directly to you here on the Mind Find Show. We don't sell this to anybody else. We make this just for the show. And when we give you these prices, the original prices, we work really hard, but because we have such a niche business where we can do that directly to you, um, that's why you get the values. Uh, you're almost, at, in a lot, most cases, you're almost buying it at what a wholesaler would pay for it at the original price. So when you see right, something like this, okay, I mean, this is just, this is beyond insane. I right. mean, this is something right. that you, you just could not do this, especially even the, what drives me crazy, trust me, I just went over this with our buyers, and I love her to death, right? She's so sweet. <laughs> but the thing is, is I think you kind of annoy her when you call her for the third time in three days and change your prices again, right? <laughs> and that's because the silver market overnight, you know what silver's been doing. Well, when sterling goes up, especially I'm working into next year, the only way that I can lock my prices is once I get that order, then I buy the silver, I lock it, and then it's locked. And, the, and then I know that's what I paid for the silver. Otherwise, you, there's no way to, to actually really price anything, right? So usually silver stays pretty stable and you're seeing what it's doing right now. I'm just telling you, if I, if I told you how much I'm having to, how much that, just the sterling silver findings, just not with, without any of the gemstones, without any labor, without any boxing, that's without right. any shipping, without any, doing anything. If I told you just what that extender finding is costing right now, I think your jaw would drop and you go, really? And you, you wouldn't be able to believe it. Think, think about, uh, go to any, any uh, uh, silver retailer and think of what just a little sterling silver band ring costs, right. okay? Right. Just the silver in a little sterling silver band ring, which you pay, right? And there's a lot more silver in that than you can imagine. Plus all the different things that they have to do to tool that to make that particular finding. And those are custom. And the, the cool thing for people that are just kind of like tuning in and don't know this, um, that, you know, the great thing about 25, and this is what, why I've been here for 25 years, our viewers, that actually, that, that enhancer chain, that came be, because of our viewers. Our viewers came up with that idea. They demanded, they wanted something. We used to just do lobster claws. 
And they said, Jay, uh, you know, I, I'm having trouble, um, you know, with the lobster claw. It can't, you know, I'm, I'm getting, you know, uh, it's hard for me to put it together. I have to put it in front. Can you come up with a better finding? Also, is there way, some way that you can make it where it's adjustable? Mm -hmm. And so we came up with this, and you think how cool this is. You have two and three quarter uh, inch extender chain there. You can adjust that necklace in quarter inch increments. What, what other what other necklace can you buy that you can say you can do that with, yeah, right? Yeah, true, very so true. You got, like this case, you got 18 inches, but you really don't have 18 inches. You got 22 and three quarters of an inch. Right, right in yeah. the which makes and it so all... You can accessorize with it, you can wear it up, you can wear it down, you can adjust it. Yeah, it just makes it so much more versatile. I mean, that is what we want, right? We want to give me a great price, give me a really unique gemstones, give me all real, I want sterling silver, check, check, check. Oh, and then, by the way, make it like a rock bottom value. And, and that's what this is. We've just got a couple I, I left and when we... It. Do what? I can't build it for this. This is what I call a stupid price. <laughs> don't even think, don't even think that you could actually build this and sell it for that price. That would right. be impossible. Right. And I'm talking, I manufacture. I make it from scratch. And I'm telling you, I know exactly what it costs to make this stuff. After 44 years, trust me, I know. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I know. I know. I eat it. I breathe it. I know exactly how much it costs me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it, a lot of those, it's lessons learned. And a lot of them have been very painful lessons, okay? So, and th just the materials in this. And here again, these aren't just like, you know, junk materials, okay? Right, these right. are really nice. Yeah. So. I mean, it's crazy. We're talking about aquamarine, rose quartz, pink morganite, and pink and purple sapphire. Guys, it's pink and purple sapphire in there. It's not even ammy. It's a sapphire. So how crazy is that? Now, remember, it's on sale. When the clearance is gone, then it's gone, gone, gone. It'll never come back. You'll never get another shot at it. I know Jay's got a couple shows tomorrow. This is one that you just don't want to wait on. And I know a lot of you want to see next hour. I get it. It's really fun, and the show's jam-packed. But again, this is just one of those really special moments where you're just getting an awesome piece. All right, guys. We're gonna wrap up on that one, $76 off. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick reminder of our wildly popular showstopper. And this is 100% brand new mine find. It's called the number seven yellow turquoise. And it's wonderful, it almost reminds me of a mosaic, that's not composite. This is generally how the turquoise comes out of the ground and then they did this really unique clover carved design. Look how thick it is, these are big, big pieces, all genuine, there's your extender on the back. We have now sold, Jared, let's do some updates buddy we have sold how many all right we've sold 800 in just this hour alone that's over half the quantity we have for the entire 25th anniversary event so obviously you guys loved it you're waiting for something new and unique and we're giving it to you so take advantage of the price you guys it is amazing for how big this necklace is and how much turquoise jay used in it at 119.98 that's like Amazing. Usually that's the price of just a turquoise, you know, little kind of nugget necklace if you're watching the show, not something that's really a showpiece. I also have the matching ring, although I think that's limited now, and I have the matching earrings. Let me give you an update on those. Okay, if you want the earrings, I have 100 left. If you want the ring, I've got 200 left. Sizes, Jared, let's do those. I have 5 through 12, but how are we doing? Okay, great. Any of them super limited? Usually 5 and 12 is pretty limited. Okay, five is limited and 12, but we've got them all still. So that's great news and really a beautiful, big, wide, scalloped design on the shoulders of the ring. Isn't that pretty? So just want to give you, if you checked in late or you're channel surfing, that was our showstopper. And it is indeed a brand new mine find. It has never been on the air before until this show. All right, we still got more to do. You ready to do Kunzite? All right, we're going to do Kunzite in this hour before we wrap this up. And then next hour, oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. We have such a great show. All right, Kunzite, how how beautiful, how unique. Purple is one of my favorite colors, and this is the sweet combination of purples and a little bit of pink mixed in there. It's just magical. And once again, look at our sale price. The necklace appraises for over $255. We're at $129. It started out at $196 on the air. Tonight, for the very first time, $129.98. And the earrings were on the air for $77.50, and tonight they're $59.98. So where in the world do you find Kunzite there, uh, Jay? Well, I have to tell you, um, just so everybody knows, like Kunzite, normally you don't see Kunzite. And in fact, in 44 years, this was the first time you've ever seen Kunzite in my line. 
Um, it's not that I didn't know. I got this material out of Brazil. Um, it's through a, an old uh, connection that I have. Actually, I used to buy a lot of the um, amethyst material when I was, uh, and this was one of the materials that they're now mining. Usually with kunzite, when you see it, what do you see if you go to the jewelry stores? If they even have it, it's not something that most jewelers even have. That's how rare it is. When they do have it, it's usually set in gold, right? It's usually in 